Hi everybody, this is Paul at Reliable POD and this is a video showing you how to create designs for glass cutting boards. Firstly, download your template from the website or within the app. Uh, open it up in your graphics program, whether that be Canva, Photoshop or Corel. Uh, and this is what you'll see. You've got your print area and your sizes here, etc. Just remember on the uh, templates you do need to fill all the way to the edge uh, if you want in a full print uh, but that's the bleed area and the blue area is the critical image area where anything in there will definitely be printed so what we're going to do here here's a design uh, that I downloaded I'll drop that on what I'm going to do is turn that background layer off and you can see there uh, we've got the design and if I just move it around a little we've got that in the center if I then turn the background back on you can see that the edges are well within the uh, uh, bleed area so that's fine that's going to print well what we're going to do with this one is we're going to add personalized text here in this field in the app so what I'll do just to show you is I'm going to use the font dancing script. So enter your text here. I'm going to enlarge that up to, let's make that 72. That should fit. And then I'll drag that text across. So we can see that's where the text is going to fit. Just make a note of the color that you want that text to be. Uh, this value here, your hex code, because that's how you're going to set your text when you create the product in the app, which I'm going to show you in the, uh, in the next video. So once you've created that, you don't want to export this text layer and you want to turn the background off because you're going to add this text layer once you get into the app. So once you've done that, you can export this as a PNG or a JPEG. Uh, just come in, save as, uh, oops, I want to save a copy of that. So file, save as a copy. And let's have a look here, test. And we'll make that a PNG, we'll call it test one and I've saved that so literally that's how you create your initial design uh, to go into the app so once you've created that and saved it uh, the video below on this page will show you how to upload the product uh, into the app and add the personalization field thank you